see so many kids, boys clubs, turn up for training on a Tuesday or whatever night they do, and the dads get them out, they run them up and down three or four times, then they have a game and that's it. Keepers had no training, you know, he's not felt the ball from one week to the next. It's just little things that he can do with his pal, his dad, or like you say, a friend, whatever. Um, just little exercises that they can do. And just a little exercise that we do early in the sessions. It just gets the keepers used to playing the balls with the left and the right foot. The game of football today, the goalkeeper's got to be as much as an outfield player as he has a goalkeeper in diving and stopping the ball. He's got to have good feet. He's got to receive back passes. He's got to use the ball well because, he, as you say, you can't pick everything up these days. Uh, this is going to be the shape of the hands. If you look there, you make a W so the ball can't go through. When he's saving, his head will be still, eyes focused on the ball, looking through the picture, feet shoulder width apart. He's not going to be moving, he's going to be straight at him, you're just working the hands. Look, watching the ball right into the hands. Shape of the hands behind the ball, making that W. Elbows bent. Watching the ball right in. If you take it there, you've got more chance of just, if you do mishandle it, it's going to drop into there. Whereas coming to catch it there, it's just going to bounce straight back out. So you're looking at really at anything above badge level, you want to be catching. Yeah, you want to be hands out in front. Anything down there, you go that way. A small area there, about four or five yards apart. All I'm going to do, I'm going to tell him left or right. He's going to touch the cone, I'm going to throw, serve. As I'm giving him his instructions, as he's facing out to play all the time, he's got his eye on the ball, eye on the plate, don't cross the feet, nice and neat with the feet, small little steps, left, and right, right, well done Ray, right, and rest, left. And we just developed that one on now. We'll show you the correct way of diving. Right. See how his hands are out in front. Left. Focused on the ball up. Looking at me all the time. But here, we're just working on the hands, the principles of goalkeeping. From a very early age, it's no good getting your kids flying about making the super saves because they happen naturally. This is the fundamentals. Left. There, getting used to catching and holding the ball and going to ground with it. Mark an area, three to four yards, level with the near post, five yards, centre of goal, three to four, level with the far post. You've got to have your service spot on from your coach anyway. And kids that from six to ten years of age ain't going to come and catch a cross. Yeah. You're tempting them just to come and catch that. See, the same principles apply, the shape of the hands, Watching the ball right into the gloves, getting the knee up, catching it, bring it into the chest. And first of all, you have to train very hard. You've got to have good agility, um, good hands. You have to be uh, brave in all kinds of situations. And in the English games, you've got to come and get crosses. Uh, you know, if you make a mistake, most of the time it's a goal. So uh, I think there's more pressure on your shoulder. My father stood behind every goal I played in apart from when I could become professional. And as a kid, every goal I let in, I cried my eyes out. I thought it was my fault every time, even if I was nowhere near it. But he was there for me and encouraged me. And if fathers and coaches can be the same, don't be too hard on the kids. Encourage them, they respond better.